Dennis, we have uh, captured a moment that I think will be a classic for us throughout the years. Uh, we asked Dan, uh, Dean Martin to uh, come on the show, and believe it or not, we rounded him up in the afternoon, <laughs> which is a great task. <laughs> right off the golf course, right? <laughs> he and I got together, and I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to let this speak for itself. Dean Martin, and yours truly, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, come on in. Come on, follow me here. We'll go right into the den. And we'll do a little talking, huh? Why don't you sit there? Yeah. Well, you know, by watching the cerebral palsy telethon, You've invited us into your home. Now, the least I can do is invite you into mine. We just did a very simple thing. You came up the front door of my home. I opened the door and let you in. Nothing special about that. It's just one of those simple activities that we do every day. But in many homes across the country, simple activities are not so simple. Homes where someone in the family has cerebral palsy, everything that we take for granted now becomes a special problem. Eating, bathing, walking, or talking. It takes lots of time, energy, and patience for the person with CP and the rest of the family too. For sure it takes money for the equipment and the training to help a family with a person who has CP at the house. So if you're in sitting in your home right now, or even if you're watching me from the neighborhood bar, I can understand that too. There's probably a little doodad like, like this. Telephone, so pick it up and call in your pledge. You know, I'm not at this year's telethon in person because I had to be out of town on business and I'm, but I'm very proud of that song that Paul Ank and I sang together on last year's show. I feel that this is real, so this appeal can't go unhealed.